Hi guys, good evening. Welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, of course, I will be doing my episode review for episode 612 of AMC's The Walking Dead. Whew, man, it was a, t it was a, it was a very uh, tense episode, that's for sure. You know, guys, it's like the first chunk of it, I had butterflies in my stomach, and then the weird thing is, is that once the gunfire started in the compound, I actually found myself relaxed a little bit more. <laughs> um, I guess, uh, you know, because we all know who and what is coming, um, you know, it's, uh, it, it's just, I think these, ep these next couple episodes are going to be extremely, uh, tension filled. You know what? I'm sorry. I didn't do what I normally do before I start my review videos. Uh, as usual, with all of my episode review videos, especially for shows like The Walking Dead, please be warned that this will be full of massive, massive spoilers, as I will be referring to the, tonight's episode. So please, please do not watch or listen to this if you have not seen tonight's episode or if you're not caught up on The Walking Dead. And once you are come, caught up, come on back and listen to this, watch this video. <laughs> uh, that being said, uh, very good episode. Very, very good. But like I said, you know... I could feel the tension throughout the whole episode. You know, I, I had butterflies in my stomach because like I said earlier, we all know who and what is coming. It's just a matter of how and when. So, you know, it's extremely tension filled and I have a feeling that these last three episodes, three episodes, guys, we only have three episodes left. I have a feeling these next three episodes are going to be very, very tension filled and very very scary in more ways than one uh you know i was just i felt very nervous for the most part i mean it's just it's like at any given moment anybody could die is what i felt like during this episode they had their first encounters encounter with the saviors the hilltop resident was able to bring them to where they were holding their uh the hilltop resident craig and uh you know this was you know, it was a very tense episode, but I like to I, I, I like to think this is like the Black Ops uh, version of Walking Dead because it was a very sneaky stealth attack. You know, Rick and his people really executed their plan really well, and they moved in and did really quick, silent kills. It was like watching a Black Ops mission or special forces going in. You know, everybody's got their guns up going around like this. You see the enemy, quietly dispatch them, you know. <laughs> Um, and I think what was really interesting about this episode is that this is the episode where we saw Glenn's first human kill. Because I was going through my memory banks, <laughs> I sound like a droid, uh, like going all the way back to season one of The Walking Dead. And I just, I kept rethinking all of the big Glenn moments throughout the series. And I thought to myself, you know what? He hasn't really killed anybody it's been nothing but walker kills. And tonight was like his first big walker kill. And I was just like, huh. Or not walker kill, excuse me. Human kill, human kill. And I was very surprised. I'm like, wow, this far into the series and he's never actually killed anybody. Interesting. Hmm. Um, something else I thought was really interesting is that, um, you know, we saw Carol was starting to feel, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I wouldn't use the word vulnerable, but I think she might be starting to soften up a little bit, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it is an interesting shift for her character, She because she's always been like the silent guardian uh, who keeps a watchful eye on things and puts on this facade of the doting housewife, but she's secretly a badass. But it seems like maybe like her conscience is starting to her conscience is starting to get to her, you know, and uh, maybe what maybe Morgan's words about not taking life is starting to just really hit her, and make and uh, really starting to settle into her being. And what I also thought was extremely interesting is that we saw 
a little something between her and Tobin. And I'm glad they featured a lot more Tobin in this episode because of all the Alexandria characters, he's the one I've definitely wanted to see more development on. You know, I don't know what it is about him, but uh, I really liked him back in season five and I love what they've done with him so far. Hell, I don't want to sound crude or anything, but I thought they were, he'd be dead by now. But hey, I'm glad he's not. But uh, it was th this was a very good episode, very tension filled. I have a feeling that the next three episodes, and that's wait, is it three or four? Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. We've got four more to yeah, four more to go. We've got episodes thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, sixteen. We've got four more to go, not uh, three more. Four more episodes to go. Um, but, uh, I, you know, it was very tension-filled. You know, it's just, I was afraid any of those saviors would have woken up and, at any moment and killed anybody. And uh, they almost did a couple times, but fortunately they didn't. And then it turned into, like, a full-on gun battle. And they took out a lot of saviors. A lot of saviors. And I was really happy to see Gabriel step up. You know, he already stepped up in the mid-season premiere. But now we just got further concrete uh, confirmation excuse me, confirmation of that, so to speak. You know, we saw him, uh, he took down a savior before, and then recited a biblical quote before putting him down, which was cool. And uh, Gabriel's a lot less annoying than he was last season. I'll give him that. So uh, I'm slowly starting to like him a lot better now. In fact, I've liked him a lot more since the mid-season premiere, which was one of the best episodes of The Walking Dead uh, ever, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, I thought it was interesting in this episode how they uh, hid Tara's uh, pregnancy because uh, that actress I know gave birth recently. She and her husband had a little boy I think so it makes sense that they had to cover up her pregnancy during uh the filming of the second half of this season so uh I like the camera tricks they did like in the scene where she's in the kitchen with Denise and they're using like the cutlery thing to cover up her stomach and she's wearing a couple layers of coats and whatnot uh very good episode you know very very good very tension filled and I you know I felt very nervous throughout the whole thing and for some reason when the stealth attack turned into a gun battle at the compound where the saviors were holed up. I felt somewhat more relaxed and not as worried. I mean, I still felt worried, just not as worried as I did before. Um, but, you know, overall, this was a great episode. Uh, you know, and of course, uh, my heart kind of sank when uh, we found out that there are other saviors nearby and uh, they've taken Carol and Maggie hostage. And... Uh, you know, the fact uh, that uh, Carol stayed behind with Maggie tells me that Carol knows that uh, she's uh, expecting. Well, actually, I think she already does know. I think most of the, uh, yeah, most of the Alexandria residents do know, especially Carol. But, uh, you know, we did see a little bit of a shift in Carol's personality. I'm surprised that she's covering up for Morgan because they totally have both totally different ideologies and Rosita goes to Carol about why didn't you reveal Morgan to the others at the meeting because she was tempted to spill the beans. Carol said, no, uh, we're not going to do that. I thought that was very interesting, a big shift in her personality. So maybe her, you know, she's got plenty of humanity, but maybe her concept of uh, mercy is starting to return to her. Or, I mean, I don't know if it's mercy. I don't know what the word is, but uh, I thought it was very interesting how Carol wasn't so keen on giving Morgan up to the rest of Alexandria when Rosita really wanted to. And speaking of Rosita, we saw basically the dissolve of Abraham and Rosita's relationship. Abraham pretty much moves out, breaking Rosita's heart. Why you would dump a hottie like Rosita is beyond me. But Abraham has his reasons. He's definitely got the hots for Sasha or something is going on with him. A good friend of mine pointed out to me recently that Abraham is starting to uh, embrace the concept of family once again. And maybe he just doesn't get that vibe with with Rosita, but he gets it with Sasha or something like that. I don't know. It's a very interesting theory. It's a good theory. But uh, at first I thought Abraham had completely left Alexandria because at first I did not see him at all during the compound, the stealth mission into the compound. And then I saw him with Sasha. I'm like, oh, there he is. We didn't see him with the others out at the R out on the road with the cars and the RV, 
but now there he is. Hmm. Okay, whatever. But uh, very, very good episode. Very enjoyable. Uh, you know, it's kind of nerve wracking because, like I said, we all know who and what is coming, and uh, the photographs of uh, that above the Savior's bed that Glenn was looking at was very eerie because uh, it wasn't until later I realized. Those are photographs of people who've had their heads bashed in with a heavy blunt instrument. Most likely Lucille Negan's uh, favorite weapon of choice, the barbed, barbed wire baseball bat. So that was a very uh, discomforting and uh, interesting Easter egg. Also, I could have sworn it was him. And I, uh, I've seen a few episodes. But was that Aaron Paul who made a cameo as the Sleeping Savior? It fit, that looked a hell of a lot like Aaron Paul, and if it was him, they did not credit him. If that was intentional or not, I don't know. But I could have sworn that was Aaron Paul uh, from Breaking Bad. Am I wrong? Am I right? I'm not sure. I'd like to rewatch this episode again just for that detail. <laughs> but uh, overall, very good episode. Very, very much enjoyed it. Uh, of course, I'm worried about Carol and Maggie now. I don't know who's got him and how many. Uh, hey, on the plus side... Daryl's bike is back, which makes you wonder if the Saviors killed that man and woman who originally stole Daryl's bike a couple of episodes back, or if that man and woman ended up joining the Saviors after all or something. Who knows, but it's exciting, you guys. It's very exciting. We've only got four episodes left, so... Ooh, it's, uh, it's tense, exciting stuff, but uh, still enjoyable. Still enjoyable. I just need to remember to breathe whenever I watch this show. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed tonight's episode as much as I did. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more episode review videos of The Walking Dead, as well as several other of my favorite TV shows. Uh, what did you guys think of tonight's episode? Did you love it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Please leave your thoughts and opinions and your feedback down below. I'd love to hear everybody's opinions and feedback down below in the comments section. Let's please be respectful and civil of one another's beliefs and opinions of course and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos thanks again for watching i hope you all have a wonderful weekend and you get off to a good start tomorrow on monday morning and of course as always until next time may the force be with you